good morning all welcome to the course on basic thermal engineering fourth semester we are in unit 6 gas turbines and jet propulsion systems session 2 in today's topic we are going to cover open cycle gas turbine engine gas turbine with regenerator gas turbine with reheating gas turbine with intercooler and difference between open cycle and closed cycle gas turbine so in the last class we have studied a closed cycle gas turbine so in the closed cycle gas turbine the exhaust of the gas exhaust working fluid from the turbine is not going to be expelled to the atmosphere it is going to be a revert back to the compressor where the air stream is going to be uh, rotated the to the compressor again to the combustion chamber and the same fluid is going to be expanded in the turbine but in open cycle the ex air is going to be sucked from the atmosphere and it is going to be exhausted to the surroundings how it is going to work in this turbine the air is sucked from the atmosphere so we have observed here at state 1 the air is sucked from the atmosphere at atmospheric temperature and atmospheric pressure and from 1 to 2 the process is going to be compressed isentropically as nothing but it is going to be compressed adiabatically by uh, the pressure is going to be increased and little amount of temperature is also going to be increased and the pressure uh, and the air is going to be compressed so that the pressure is going to be increased from state 1 to 2. The compressed air is passed through the combustion chamber after this air compressed air is passed through the combustion chamber where we are going to apply where we are going to supply the fuel for the combustion purpose in this turbine or in the open cycle gas turbine in the combustion chamber the air is going to be mixed with the fuel where the combustion products are going to mix with the combustion products and the air is going to be mixed in the combustion chamber whereas in the closed cycle the air that is compressed air is not going to be mixed with the uh, fuel so here in open cycle gas turbine mass of the air plus mass of the fuel both are going to be mixed so that the mass of the air is going to be increased to the mass of the air plus mass of the fuel the compressed air is passed through the combustion chamber where it is heated by the combustion of fuel and products of combustion also mixed with the compressed air here thus increasing the mass of the gas so what will happen here in the mass of the air it is only moving over here then it moves to the combustion chamber where we are going to apply the fuel that becomes mass of the fuel mass of the fuel plus mass of the air that gives a mass of the exhaust gases so mass of the gases is equal to mass of the fuel plus mass of the air that gives a mass of the exhaust gases next after burning after combustion chamber the pressure is going to be increased at the same time the temperature is going to be increased that means the enthalpy increases due to high enthalpy it is going to be expanded in the turbine it is going to be sent for getting the positive work from the reaction turbine where it get expanded isentropically how it is going to be expanded it is expanded isentropically or it is also called as what adiabatically it is going to be expanded finally after expansion it is the, the exhaust gases are sent to the atmosphere and the cycle is repeated by sucking the com atmospheric air into the compressor so here every time the fresh air is going to be sucked by the compressor and the uh, burnt gases or the expanded gases is going to be uh, uh, exhaust to the atmosphere this is the open cycle gas turbine so if you see the ts diagram of that one so 1 to 2 is adiabatic compression you observe here 1 to 2 is what adiabatic compression this process is called as what adiabatic process adiabatic compression process adiabatic compression where the pressure is going to be increased from state 1 to 2 at the same time the temperature is rising from state 1 to 2 t1 to t2 temperature in the t1 in the t2 get temperature rise at the the pressure of p1 in the p2 get rise at the so this work is called as water 
negative work. Why we are going to call it as negative work? Because a compressor alone can't run. It should use the some energy that is generated by the turbine. Turbine will generate agir danta energy na mechanical energy na utilize mod kondo yen run agate compressor or run agate. So that means it is work done on the gas in the compressor. So we are going to call it as what a negative work. So one to two is what adiabatic compression. Two to three is we are going to add the heat. We are going to supply the heat here. Q is in at constant pressure process. We are going to supply the heat. So after supplying the heat here, what will happen? Mass of the air plus mass of the fuel is going to be mixed to get the mass of the exhaust gases. So next in three to four again it is adiabatic expansion process. This is what adiabatic expansion process where the work done is going to be takes place. This is work is called as what a positive work. This is work done in the turbine. That means work done on by the gas. It is not on the gas. It is the by the gas. So it is called as what a positive work. So next four to one. Four to one is a constant pressure process where the exhaust gases or the expanded gases are going to be released into the atmosphere. So generally this the temperature of the exhaust gases should be equal to the or the pressure of the exhaust gases should be equal to the atmospheric pressure to increase the efficiency. So this is the PV and TS diagram of open cycle and how it going to be works. So when we know the efficiency of the Breton cycle. So Breton cycle means what the gas turbines works on the Breton cycle. This is the efficiency of the Breton cycle. It is given by 1 minus T1 by T2 that is equal to 1 minus P1 by P2 to the power of gamma minus 1 divided by gamma that is equal to 1 minus 1 divided by R to the power of gamma minus 1 to the power of gamma where P2 by P1 is what a pressure ratio. P2 by P1 is called as what a pressure ratio. If the pressure ratio is going to be increased efficiency of the Breton cycle depends upon this pressure ratio. So, increase in pressure ratio, the efficiency is going to be increased in the gas turbine. You observe in the graph or in the table, pressure ratio increase at the same time efficiency and at the same observe order. pressure ratio 2 is there, efficiency is around what is 20. Pressure ratio is 4, efficiency is going to be somewhat here. Pressure ratio is 8, it is going to be increased. Pressure ratio is 16, at the same time the efficiency is going to be increased. And also not only pressure ratio, if the uh, type or nature of the gas that is gamma. If the nature of the gas is going to be increased at the same uh, at that point also the efficiency is going to be increased. So this is the one of the point uh, that should be remembered uh, in the gas turbine. If the pressure ratio increases the efficiency increases. Next one is work output. What about work output? The work output depends upon the temperature ratio. One is pressure ratio, another one is a temperature ratio. So you observe here, pressure ratio n akta is not really. At some point, a temperature ratio two is there. Temperature ratio three, four, five. Temperature ratio two is the ga. Pressure ratio increase adru hai. Work output increase akta hella. N akta is there decrease akta hai. So work output depends upon the temperature ratio mele depend akta hai. At some specific pressure ratio. Pressure ratio on the yado on the point and lile yen agate specific work output to jasti barate. Yado on the pressure ratio the list specific work output to jasti barate. Our specific work output jasti baratala. Our pressure ratio iratala. Other lile temperature ratio yes tirate. Other no kobe. So that is also an important thing. So what do you mean by a temperature ratio? So temperature ratio yen apadre. It is the ratio of the inlet temperature to the turbine and compressor. So inlet temperature to the turbine and now 1 to 2 is a compression process where we are going to supply the heat that is what T1 and turbine the inlet temperature is to T3. So T3 by T1 is the temperature ratio. T3 by T1 is the temperature ratio. If this temperature ratio increases then specific work output to increase. So the temperature ratio T is generally used as a design parameter. Higher is the T value, higher shall be the specific output. T value jasti adang adang hai, work output en akta hai de, jasti akta hai de, So you observe here, 
t value 2 is there, 3 is there, 4 is there, 5 is there. t value is there, increase is there. The t value is goes on increasing. If this is increasing, what is the work output? Work output is there, increase is there. Work output is also goes on increasing. So, maximum value of T depends upon the maximum temperature which the highly stressed parts of the turbine can withstand for the required working life, also called as what a metallurgical limit. So, we have to T value just the T value T value just the For example, T3 by T1, T3 by T1, T1 is what atmospheric temperature. Atmospheric temperature will be uh, 25. So, T3 value will be 1000. T3 value will be 1000. So, now what will happen? Sir? 25 4 is 40. So, T3 by T1 ratio is 40. So, T3 by T1 ratio is just this inlet temperature to the turbine should be increased. I am going to increase this temperature to 2000. If I increase this temperature to 2000 divided by 25, that becomes 80. That becomes what? 80. So, T3 by T1 temperature ratio in I to 80 I to. So, if the temperature ratio increases, definitely, definitely specific work output in I to just the other thing. But T3 temperature 2000 Mardaga, ill ener the expansion agadu, turbine mill expansion agadu, turbine material low withstand Mardaveku, astrasas na, our temperature rain Mardaveku, withstand Mardaveku. That is also an important thing. Sumne just the Mardaveku. If it is increased to 4000 4, degree Kelvin. We should think it of the turbine is going to withstand the temperature or not. The materials that are used are going to withstand the thermal stresses na withstand maadho, model vanta na wo beko. That is also an important thing. In the modern gas turbine value of T ranges from 3.5 to 6. Modern gas turbine le esta paarthandra it is varies from 3.5 to 6. Further higher values of the turbine if I want higher values of the turbine t3 by t1 value nan yen aitu temperature ratio value yen beko ond 7 or 8 bantu the ittukondru ee range beku ondaga then i want to use cooling i want to use cooling the blade cooling maadbeku turbine blade na cool maartta irbeku so there are different technologies to cool the blades aa blade close maadi then we can increase the temperature ratio so to increase the Efficiency, pressure ratio increase adre, efficiency increase agate. Temperature ratio increase adre, work output to increase agate. These are the two factors. So, for certain value of temperature ratio, specific work output shall increase with increasing pressure ratio value. So, observe here, pressure ratio value sir, for certain, yalladhuku temperature ratio increase adaga, specific work output increase agilla. No, re, two value ide. Temperature ratio in there 2 is Pressure ratio just the specific work output and act there decrease act there. Yellow just the act for specific for certain value of temperature ratio for 3 it is increasing for 4 also you observe here it is dropping. You observe here that it is the, the curve is going to be dropped for the temperature ratio of 5 it is going to be horizontal. So, are some some uh, some temperature ratio again act there. Pressure ratio just the specific work output and act there, just the So that by differentiating the specific work output with pressure ratio, we can see that for maximum value of a given T, when the pressure ratio is such that temperature at compressor outlet and turbine outlet are equal. So, yadar on the specific work output to maximum yava kanata pandre. Yawak pressure ratio dali, when pressure ratio dali, T2 is equal to T4 agato, at that point specific work output to jasti irate. Ah pressure ratio dali now node ko beko. For example, 14 pressure ratio at that point. 14 pressure ratio dali, the temperature value, temperature ratio is T, T is equal to 5. E point dali, nani specific work output to maximum bandi dali at that point. So pressure ratio 14. Temperature ratio 5 with a A point al node daga nange, T2 is equal to T4 irate. That means this is also one of the indicating factor. This E factor na achieve madadre na wo. Yen agate work output to namge jasti barate. What is T2? T2 
T2 is the temperature at the exit of the compressor. At the exit of the compressor, this is the temperature at the exit of the compressor. And T4 is the temperature at the exit of the turbine. T4 is the temperature at the exit of the turbine. And T2 is the temperature at the exit of the compressor. When these two are equal, exit of the turbine, bartha, vargade vartha gases so, turbine in the expansion nage, vargade vartha gases temperature ho, matte, temperature uh, uh, compress ad mele, combustion chamber go gutala, ah gases temperature ho, yerudu same adre, then we are going to call it as what a specific work output to maximum identa hell bodu. So next is a regenerative gas turbine. So why we are going to use this regenerative gas turbine? Specific work output na vhelo duiga. Work output yawa ga jasti agate maximum yawa gerate andre. When the exhaust temperature should be equal to the compressor exhaust temperature, that is T2 is equal to T4 aveko. When T2 is equal to T4, the work output of the gas turbine maximum agate. So, the turbine exhaust temperature is normally much above the ambient temperature. Generally, 3 to 4 is the process of isentropic expansion process. Turbine is not the expansion. Expansion is 4 bandaganaito. Generally, it is escape to the atmosphere. Now, release it. Release it. Ambient temperature is not the release it. We should uh, expansion is not the Ambient temperature reach not the expansion then we will get full amount of work now extraction madadangagutte but usually this ambient temperature ge now at the point exhaust barodilla t4 ambient temperature barodilla ellirutte still namge ambient temperature ginta inna jaasti iruttalla avagle now surrounding ge en martivi exhaust maadibudtivi so that large amount of heat is going to be wasted so ee heat na now em madbeku harness madbeku we want to Utilize that heat. So I utilize more bacon re more beko extract more bacon re heat na we are going to use a regenerator. Regenerator is an instrument we are going to use for the harnessing of the heat from the exhaust gases. How we are going to exhaust uh, harness the heat from the exhaust gases? You can observe here. This is a compressor. This is a turbine. The turbine is running the compressor. From 1 to 2 is compression process, from 2 to 3 is a combustion process, from 3 to 4 is a expansion process. After expansion process, at point 4, we are going to release the exhaust gases into the atmosphere. At that temperature of the exhaust gases is much above the atmospheric temperature. So, that is going to be passed to the regenerator. Regenerator is nothing but it is an uh, heat exchanger, we are going to call it as water, heat exchanger, we are going to call it as water, heat exchanger, where we are going to pass to the uh, regenerator. At the same time, the fresh air is admitted to the compressor, where we are going to compress the air. After compressing the air, the pressure is going to be increased and we are going to pass to the combustion chamber in open cycle, but here we are going to pass to the regenerator where it absorbs the heat from the exhaust gas. Enagate exhaust gas in the organa octaratala heat o other name marate ido absorb more conate. So that means ido compressed gas in actarate e direction loctarate and exhaust gas in actarate e direction loctarate. That means what counter flow actarate exhaust gas ekada octarate compressed gas ekada bartarate so that it will absorb the heat in the regenerator. After absorbing the heat, the pressure is not going to be drop. Pressure will drop. Frictional pressure drop is not going to occur in this type. So, next it passes to the combustion chamber where we are going to heat the compressed air and it will mixes with the compressed fuel products of the fuel and it is expanded in the turbine to generate the power. So, you can observe here. Regenerative air standard gas turbine cycle has a regenerator that is nothing but counter flow heat exchanger. 
through which the hot turbine exhaust gas and comparatively cooler air coming from the compressor flow in opposite directions. As I said, the hot exhaust gases from the turbine is going to be enter in this direction and the compressed air is going to be enter in this direction. And when it is flowing in opposite directions, the compressed air absorbs the heat from the exhaust gases. At that time, no frictional drop occurs either in fluid stream. Either the frictional drop agalla, either the frictional drop agalla. So the but exhaust gas gets pulled from four to four dash. That is very important. It has been pulled from four to four dash. Exhaust gas in akta the. Illinda idu and temperature rote. That means it is a temperature rest the atmospheric temperature in the just the. Compressed air absorbed temperature it has been reduced to 4 dash. At the same time, compressed air 2 at the same time compressed air 2 absorbed temperature it has become 2 dash. Temperature has been increased to 2 dash increase. So the temperature rise from 2 to 2 dash and drop from 4 to 4 dash is shown in the TS diagram. You can observe in the TS diagram. So now the heat added L heat added heat added is in the process of combustion process. That is 2 dash to 3 is the heat addition process. This is what a heat addition process. In heat addition process, Q in or we are going to call it as what a Q addition. In Q addition process we are going to supply the fuel at constant pressure and the heat is going to be added. So, heat exchanger is the 2 dash to 3 ST add. Agate. Sorry, heat exchanger is 2 dash to 3 add. Agate. Without heat exchanger, 2 to 3 add. Agate. Without heat exchanger, the heat added is from 2 to, that is 2 to 3 without heat exchanger. So, when it is heat exchanger use madaga, atwa regenerator use madaga, heat added is 2 to 3 in the stay add madhivi. So, that means what Q added when we are going to use the regenerator that is given by M into H3 minus H2 dash. When we are not going to use the regenerator, Q added is equal to M into H3 minus H2. So, Q added while using the regenerator is less than the Q added. So, that regenerator use maadadar now supply maadadar the fuel lo yen agathe heat addition yen maadabun na wo kadave maadabodu. If the heat addition is less definitely yen agathe na wo supply kami maadadar gana ito work output jasthi batta ite supply ashte kudata ite ve and the gana ito. So, efficiency is going to be increased. So, efficiency and agate, region for the, from the regenerative process improvement in cycle thermal efficiency. Cycle thermal efficiency definitely an ito increase ito because heat addition and of kami martha idi work aste martha idi. But net work produced per unit mass flow is not altered by the use of regenerator. Efficiency and no increase increase ito. But work output work at a martha idi ala work output to adi no change agli ala by using the regenerator. So, now next ten more I want to increase the work in order to maximize the work available from the simple gas turbine. One next one option is I want to increase the enthalpy of the fluid. So, gas turbine will get a work tie heat in an end more beko just the murder. Definitely, there will be the work done in agate just the agate. This is one option. How to do that one? To do that one, I am going to use the reheat gas turbine. Reheat gas turbine use one thing. In the reheat gas turbine, I am going to expand the air stream in two parts. At one is a high pressure turbine, another one is a low pressure turbine. So, this is called as what? Multi-stage expansion. In between multi-stage expansion, I am going to reheat the air stream that is compressed air stream on a name reheat martini after expansion I get the part expansion reheat martini then I am going to expand further. So in this way if I do it definitely the work done during the cycle is going to be increased. So you can observe in here from 1 to 2 is a compressor this is a compressor this is high pressure turbine this is low pressure turbine. 
So one to two is a compression process that is adiabatic compression process where the pressure is going to be increased. After the pressure is going to be increased, we are going to add the fuel or we are going to supply the fuel for this combustion chamber where it is going to take the heat and the pressure is going to be increased and it is expanded in the turbine. But in this reheat gas turbine, we are not going to expand in at a stretch. In one stretch only now expand madala part expansion marthi. We are going to expand part expansion by using high pressure turbine because in the first stage lay marthi high pressure and high temperature will be there. So we are going to expand in the high pressure turbine. After expanding in the high pressure turbine, so that the pressure is going to be reduced, the temperature is going to be reduced. I am going to add in between high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine. I am going to further reheat it by using one more combustion chamber. So, if I reheat the the part expansion gas, the temperature is going to be further heated. That means enthalpy is going to be added up. So, after added up from five to six, I am going to expand in the low pressure turbine. That means the work done during the process is going to be increased. If I am not going to use the reheat process, reheat process use model in Andre expansion one day terminal model. So, the expansion is taking place from 3 to 4 dash one day process. Now, part expansion model in the end. I am going to expand from 3 to 4 once. After expanding 3 to 4, I am going to further heat it up in the reheat combustion chamber where the temperature is going to be increased to 5. Then after uh, reaching the stage 5, I am going to expand in the low pressure turbine LPT. So, low pressure turbine will expand. That means what? Expansion is type 3 to 4 plus 5 to 6. Here to share expansion, no, the work done takes place. Only 3 to 4 dash stay expansion. So, T3 to T4 dash is the one expansion. Iwaga. 3 to 4 dash, 3 sorry, 3 to 4 and 5 to 6. Both are clubbed together to get the work done in reheat gas turbine. So, ambient air enters the compressor. So, ambient air is nothing but atmospheric air enters the compressor and compressed air at high pressure level leaves at 2. Yen agate compressor mele at state 2 nal yen agate. Compressed compressed air is injected into the combustion chamber for increasing its temperature up to the desired turbine inlet temperature at state 3. After combustion, it increases to certain temperature and pressure and it uh, certain temperature and pressure reach agate state 3. High pressure and high temperature fluid enters high pressure turbine for first stage of expansion. So, I am going to expand in one stage expansion model. We are going to expand in two stages or three stages or four stages, depending upon my requirement. So, generally, we are going to expand in high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine. Part expansion model now. So, after part expansion, it leaves at state 4 and sent for a reheat combustion chamber for further addition of heat. After reheating, the temperature of the fluid in agate matte jasti agate. That means enthalpy is going to be increased. So, after increasing the enthalpy, it leaves the combustion chamber at state 5 and enters a low pressure turbine for further expansion to the desired value. The total work done on the two stage turbine is greater than the single stage turbine that is from state 3 to 4 dash. If it is a using single stage turbine, the expansion is taking from state 3 to 4 dash. If I am going to use a two stage turbine or a multi stage turbine, then it is going to expansion is taking place from 3 to 4 once, 3 to 4 once agate, next 5 to 6 in the So, that the total work done is given by T3 minus T4 plus T5 minus T6 is greater than T3 minus T4 dash. So, if in between high pressure turbine and low pressure turbine, I am going to add the heat. If I add the heat, what will happen? 
ಎಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಎಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ರೀಜನರೇಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಹೀಟ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ನ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಬೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಸ್ಟ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹೀಟ್ ನ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಗೆ ನಾನು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಹೀಟ್ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ನೇ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಬಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಹೈ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಲೋ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕಂಬಸ್ಟನ್ ಚೇಂಬರ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಹೀಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಆ ತರ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಸೈಕಲ್ ಎಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕಲಿ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಇಫ್ ದ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಎಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಆದಾಗ ಅಟ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಎಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟನ್ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಟನ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಎಫಿಶಿಯನ್ಸಿ ವಿಥೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಹೀಟಿಂಗ್ ರೀಹೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಲ್ದಲೇ ಹೋದಾಗ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾವು ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಫೋರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಏರಿಯಾ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಸೊ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೀಹೀಟರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಪನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆದಾಗ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ರೀಜನರೇಟರ್ ಟು ಹಾರ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಆ ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ನಾವು ಹಾರ್ನೆಸ್ ಮಾಡೋಕೆ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ರೀಜನರೇಟರ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೆಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ನ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಒನ್ ವೇ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನು ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿವು ಅನದರ್ ವೇ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋದೇನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸರ್ ದಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೈ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ರೆಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ನ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಎಫ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ಟು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ನೆಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ನೆಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಡನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸರ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ನ ನಾನು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಆಟೋಮೆಟಿಕಲಿ ನೆಟ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಏನಾಯಿತು ನಂದು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ರೀಹೀಟಿಂಗಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ನಾನು ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ನ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ವು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವು ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ರೀಹೀಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದು ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಗ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟರ್ಬೈನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಕೂಲಿಂಗಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಸರ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಅ ಇಂಟರ್ ಕೂಲರ್ಸ್ ವೈ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ ಕೂಲರ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ರೇಷ್ಯೋ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ರೇಷ್ಯೋ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ರೇಷ್ಯೋ ಆರ್ ದ ಇನ್ಲೆಟ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರು ಒಂದು ಇನ್ಲೆಟ್ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಇತ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಹೈಯರ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ವರ್ಕು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬರ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ದ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಲೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೋ ನಾನು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇರೋದಂಥ ಟೆಂಪ್ರೇಚರ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಇತ್ತಂದ್ರೆ ಆಟೋಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕಲಿ ಏನಾಗತ್ತೆ ಕಾಂಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ವರ್ಕು ಕಡಿಮೆ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ಆನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್
the first stage compression occurs in low pressure compressor and compressed air leaving LPC at 2 is sent to intercooler where temperature of the compressed air is lower down to state 3 at constant pressure. So, first 1 to 2 is a compression, adiabatic compression process where the temperature is going to be increased from state 1 to state 2. Temperature increase from 1 to 2 when the temperature increase to next to 2 to 3 go the ga i am going to pass it through the intercooler range pass martini intercooler is an device where it is going to be uh, extract the heat from the compressed air heat rathala adana yen madate extraction madate so that means what cool madate elli varagu cool madate andre initial state ellide modle estittu temperature t1 ittala ade temperature ge band bodutte t3 nalluve so after reaching the state 3, it is passed to the high pressure compressor. The cooled compressed air is further expanded, sorry, it is further compressed in the high pressure compressor from state 3 to 4. Further, it is going to be compressed from state 3 to 4 in the high pressure compressor. After compression, what will happen? The cooled compressed air is further compressed in the high pressure compressor from state 3 to 4. 3 to 4 in the end, agate, compression, agate. then it is passed to the combustion chamber where the fuel is added and the heat is going to be increased and the pressure is going to be increased from 5 to 6, the expansion is going to be takes place. So, this is the expansion process and 4 to 5 is the combustion process. So, 2342 dash 2342 dash this is what this is the 2342 dash this is the work saved due to intercooling due to intercooling is shown by the area 2342 dash this area is now save to work done by the so 1234 dash 134 dash it is moving so, we have saved, this is the amount of work we have saved during intercooling. So, TS diagram for gas turbine cycle with inter intercooling shows that in the absence of intercooling within the same pressure limits, the state at the end of compression would be 2 dash, while with perfect intercooling this state is at 4. So, now, Intercooling use model la anta it kodri. Same pressure limits se rathe anta. Awaga nam jenil rathe at the end of compression no two dash bortai to nam do. Illi bortai to nam. Now by using intercooling it is at four athrai the. Illi the four athrai the. Now use model la anta illi bortai to two dash athra mar bortai to. Use model rin the illi bando four athra bortai the. So T two dash is greater than T four. Definitely T2 dash is greater than T4. This is what a T2 dash and this is what a T4. T2 dash is greater than T4. So, what is the intercooler use model in the NI? Temperature NI to at the exit of the compressor, the temperature is going to be reduced. T4 at the exit of high pressure compressor, temperature is going to be So, if the temperature is low, Heat addition just the Madabeku. Work output a Brabek and Renavakuna, heat addition just the Madabekaito. Additional heat requirement of Bekaito, LA combustion chamber. Hence, combustion chamber heat addition, heat addition just the Madarenaito, thermal efficiency automatically come here. So, by lower temperature at exit of compressor enhances the use of regenerator that increases the cycle thermal efficiency. That means what? Illy and I to combustion chamber only now heat addition na jasti marchiye because T4 any day namdo exit of the compressor kammi irodrinda heat addition jasti marbeko. But T4 kammi irodrinda na be na ito regenerator use mar kondo exhaust gas in the bartharanta waste heat na harness marbre we can increase the thermal efficiency of the cycle. In this way, we should think it of uh, for increasing the network output as well as a cycle thermal efficiency. One is a open cycle, one by using regenerator, 
by using a uh, intercooler by using reheater so reheater means what that reheater is nothing but what a part expansion in the turbines in between the part expansion we are going to use the one more combustion chamber that is reheat combustion chamber to increase the temperature of the expand uh, part expanded gas so that enthalpy increases and further expansion takes place but in intercooler we are multi stage compression is going to take place in between the multi stage compression we are going to add intercooler by adding the intercooler what will happen input to the compressor is going to be input temperature of the air to the compressor is going to be reduced if the input temperature of the compressor is reduced compression work is going to be reduced by this fact we are going to use a gas turbine with intercooling so next is what is the difference between closed cycle gas turbine and open cycle the gas turbine so we know that one the compressed air in the closed cycle is heated in a heated chamber and heated in a heating chamber and heated by an external source therefore the amount of gas remains the same so there is no mixture mixture of uh, air stream with the combustion products in the closed cycle gas turbine whereas in the open cycle gas turbine the combustion products are going to mix with the air stream or the compressed air stream so that the mass of the air uh, mass of the exhaust gases is equal to the mass of the air plus mass of the fuel the gas from the turbine is passed to the cooling chamber so after expanding in the turbine it is again uh, passed to the cooling chamber and further to the compression uh, process whereas in the open gas turbine it is uh, exhausted to the atmosphere the working fluid is recirculated continuously okay but it is uh, replaced continuously fresh air is admitted in the open cycle gas turbine any fluid with better thermodynamic properties can be used so generally in open cycle only air is going to be used why because we are going to add fresh air is going to be admitted every time but in closed cycle the air is not going to be mixed with the fuel that means we can use any fluid with having better thermodynamic properties that can be used the turbine blades do not wear Away earlier as the gas does not get uh, contaminated. Turbine blades so when they wear and tear, can be agate. Why? Because the air is directly not interacting with the fuel. Whereas in uh, open gas turbine, the fuel is get mixed with the uh, atmospheric air or the compressed air, so that uh, wear and tear is uh, more. If you come for the closed gas turbine. as the hot gas is cooled by the circulating water hence it is best suited for stationary installations or marine use so illi enagta ide hot gas na yen martivi navu by using a pre uh, heat exchanger use maadi uh, use maadi yen martivi cool martta idivi so that it is best suited for stationary installations idu enagutte open cycle le it is best suited for moving vehicles as the fresh air ill odru namge sikta irodrinda cooling namge madak agalla so that uh, air is discharged to the atmosphere hence it is best suited for moving vehicles high maintenance cost in closed cycle and low maintenance cost in open gas turbine the mass of installation per kilowatt is more and mass of installation per kilowatt is less that means uh, the weight of the installation per kilowatt is more in the closed cycle gas turbine and whereas in the open cycle gas turbine mass of installation per kilowatt is less so these are the references we have made to prepare this content thank you